Welcome to Coffee Havoc number two. I am going to do a small live Instagram until 1.30. But it's only going to be about nunchucks. Alright, we're going live right now. Okay. Okay. Let's hope I can actually... Okay, it's giving me the countdown. Because I know my live was suspended the last time. Okay. So, don't get excited. I'm not going to do double nunchucks very much. Alright, because I'm old and I'm out of shape and I don't remember. But, um... If you have to have double nunchucks, you know, you got to be able to have complete and total control. As you can see, the right is spinning way faster than the left. And you need to be able to stop them. So, in the event that you have double nunchucks, you know, um, be warned. It is not as control frenzy as it looks like. Like, there are guys who can do it better than me. But I'm only going to tell you, you really only need one pair. You're going to get into a fight. I mean, if you have two, that's great. I'm not gonna knock you if you're better than me too, but you really only need one if you're gonna get into a fight. Two is too many. Now I get it. If like this happens, ah, I've dropped my chucks, you know, because now you still have that extra pair. All right, but these are training chucks, by the way. They're not the real deal. However, in the right hand, even a training nunchuck is just as dangerous as a real nunchuck, all right? So, I got two sets of chucks. I don't need but one, but I'm not gonna lay this where you can do it. So, if you get into a rumble, you think you can come get them. Let's go, you know? It's where I have sight and control. Boom, that's in case that Eddie so behind me decided he wants to come and try to grab them from bottom. Okay. Now to the center, I got to worry about that because if I'm doing this, bip, I hit the guy behind me by accident. I didn't know he was there. Yeah. But now to the tail, also, when you get into a fight with nunchucks, you are never going to be doing all of this whirling shit. All right? You're not. Nobody on the other end of this fight is going to let you have that kind of time. All right? You do not have to agree with me, but how many people you know have been in a fight with nunchucks? Outside of the movies. Real life, right? Because in real life, this is how you use this. This is short range. Boom, boom. I have complete control. Up, left, right, left, up, down. Right? This is mid range. I still have complete control. Down. Up, side, side, down. I am never going to need to do this while I'm fighting. This is fine for training at home. Boom! That's how I'm going to fight with you. Boom! Put it back. Boom! Go. Boom! Boom! That's it. I'm never going to be doing this shit. Because that's going to happen. I'm excited. Go. Not going to do this. Go. Whoever I'm fighting is not going to sit here and watch me do this shit. They're probably going to come at me. So, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. You got to know how these damn things work, man. Boom, 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 boom. Back to the start position. Boom, boom. So, boom, I can go from under. I can go from over. Boom, boom. Under, boom, boom. Under, boom. So over, boom, boom, boom. Now you have to know that these things are gonna work come hella high water, but you're gonna need to understand how they work, right? Now, for instance, I'm gonna turn my back to y'all real fast. So, see how it works from the back side, all right? This is just the training purpose. When you get into an actual fight, no one's going to let you do all that. 
especially if they don't have them just. So hopefully you got to see how that works, or how it looks when you're practicing on the back side. I know you want to know why I put the other chucks up. Like I said, you don't really need two sets of chucks in a fight. I mean, it's not going to hurt to have them. But what happens if you screw up or if somebody gets them from you? Then you have a serious conflict of interest because you brought something into a fight that can be taken from you and used on you. Now, I'm going to end this video and this live with two simple things. First, a weapon that you bring to a fight and have no idea how to use it can be used against you. So the only weapon that you should ever bring to a fight is the skills here. Fist, forearm, elbows, kneecaps, and feet. Because they can't take them from you. They are you. Where that set of nunchucks, if I swing it the wrong way or if I'm going against somebody who's a fucking ace, I swing it, he gets out of the way, and he catches the end of that thing. Can happen. Don't ever think that it can't. He catches the end of that. And now I'm going to catch a beat. All right? I'm going to catch a beat. Now, personally, I'll bring this into a fight before I bring nunchucks. This hard, thick plastic bottom hit here, so you guys can see where I'm at exactly. Right, where you stop drinking, I'm gonna hit you right here. Boom! I'm gonna thrust that shit in there. And if I'm tall enough, I'm gonna get you right here. If you're coming, boom! And I hit you with this bitch nice and solid. I was exhaling, so it reduces the sting. Um, still hurt you. But if I, boom, and I hit you in here with this thick plastic versus a regular water bottle, which will probably bend on impact as long as it's not full. But this is empty. This is just as dangerous empty and full because it's such a thick plastic where, like, you got an Aquafina bottle or a Deer Park bottle, it's not going to do much damage if there's no water. But right here, between your belly button, which is right here, and right in here with your breastbones, separate. That's where you don't want to get hit, but that's exactly where I'm going to hit you. And if I'm not going to hit you there, I'm going to hit you square in the throat. Because if you can't breathe, you can't hurt me. That being said, I'm going to end the video in the live before I get suspended for um, um, excessive forces of violence. So that being said, I am Echo Fang Grey Wolf. This is Kung Fu Africa number two. That's down there. Be seeing you.